Hi everyone and welcome back. We're going to start a brand new map today and it's called Old Times. This map has been around for a while but it's been updated over the last few months and it was actually in FS13 as well but it is now in 15 and there's been a few updates since it was released on 15 and really it's a very highly detailed map, really nice to play on. I've been on it for about half an hour, I've just started a new game uh, just so I knew where things were and everything. Uh, it's got about nine fields, all fairly, fairly small fields, uh, but that is a good thing because we're only going to be using small or old machinery. Uh, th that is the plan for this map. We don't really want to be going over anything bigger than this Deutschfahr. I'm not going to do a massive series on this map, it's literally going to be five, maybe ten parts. So what I'm going to do is take you for a tour of the map and show you everything that we get to begin with. This is the equipment which I'm going to stay with except for one machine which I'd like to buy right now and that is the one tractor which was from FS13 and you can choose the colour of it now it's normally about a ready colour this Hurleyman I'm going to choose blue and that is what we're going to take the tour with now this is of course the yard we start off with many front ways in fact they're probably quite big enough for these machines we start off with the Vita 7302 passenger drill the smallest cultivator, another front weight, of course that small combine just there. This tractor here, this tractor here, same two, and then two of the Deutzfars with another front weight, so there's plenty of front weights to go around. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into the tractor I just bought. Here it is in its blue colour. Quite nice that you can customise the colour of it. And you may recognise it from FS13. So anyway, what I'm going to do is now go on a bit of a tour, show you everything that you get. This tractor is probably the best one to do it with because it's fairly slow and it can fit in these tight spaces. So these are obviously tractor stores and implement stores. Just here we've got our tractor sell and buy point. Of course this is the box that you put your tractor into to sell. Just over here we've got the ATM so you can do all your money work there and that is the shop of course just here. So this is your buying place, this is where everything appears when you buy it. You probably won't be buying the massive machinery because the fields and the roads and everything else isn't really up to the job. It's really for small equipment, which is nice. There aren't enough maps with nice, small, tight fields uh, which you can use the small equipment on. Okay, so that is the vehicle shop, of course, and we don't really have to read all that, but that is where it is. So that is part one of the map shown. Okay, so let's drive up here and see what we've got. We've got a field up there. Now you do start off with all the fields, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing really, some people don't like it, some people do, but they're not very big fields so it's not a bad thing I don't think. And there's plenty of detail, and I can't see any glitches at all, obviously it's had quite a number of versions so anything will have been fixed by now. Um, we've got some, some grass here, and another track which goes around the fields there, and of course here is our main yard which we were at just a minute ago this is where we get our water from this tractor stops very quickly yeah there's our fountain refill your water tanks uh, that I'm assuming I haven't tried it yet but that is where you unload your, load your grain up into your trailers from when you tip it your tipping point is just here so it would make sense back to where we were at the beginning there's our tractor sheds the equipment you start off with. This is where you get your fertilizer from, just there. That's where that question mark is. That's where you can fill one up. And just over here is your seed. That's where you fill your seed up from. In the seed store. This is where you store your potatoes and sugar beet. Now you do start off with some potatoes. Not sure about the sugar beet, I'll check on that in a minute. Um, and then if we go around here, you see a number more fields. They're all very nice shapes to work with. No stupid weird shapes. And the worker should work pretty well with these as well. And here are the pedestrians who are all walking evenly spaced apart in a line. And there's even a businessman. So if I drive up here we'll come across the selling point for our chickens eggs. That's just on the right here. I'll just turn up here, but not knock him over. We just drive up here, and then on the right. 
just here this is where you sell your eggs and if we jump off the tractor selling point for eggs and that's where you do it just there this seems to be like a village very small village hamlet kind of thing and it's got a few buildings just here and there's a gold coin there we've collected two if we go down here we'll come across one of our many selling points and if we look on here we can see a number of places which you can sell things so a wide range there four or five selling points so that's really nice this is one of them there's a gold coin um, I think that's pretty much self-explanatory now I'm going to move around to another part of the map so this of course is field number three just in there and field number four is just here we should be able to go down here and that will obviously reconnect to the yard and we'll then come across our livestock place I'd like to look at that uh, yeah there's plenty of spaces on this lots of different things uh, there looks to be two cell points for your chickens up here we have got the wool pallet so when your sheep produce wool that's where they'll appear on that pad just there and you can sell it as you normally would and we'll head down here see what there is looks to be the second selling point for eggs and a place to sell your grain with a lighthouse mmm must be some water about then yes there is I think actually this must be an island it doesn't look like an island from the minimap but it must be yeah there we go look that looks really good more pedestrians down here more gold coins uh, yeah more coins here it'd be good if there was a boat on here that would look really nice if there was a boat moored up yeah but this is like the key the key area up here we've got the selling point for the chickens chicken eggs um, this must be the tree sapling, ah this is, must be like the garden centre then they must appear here loading zone there which means the sell point must be around the back, yes it is and that's a sell point and a load point by the look of things and there's our lighthouse, can you go up it? no it's all closed up that would be good though if you could climb it right well we better crack on doing our tour of the map in our Hurleyman very highly detailed though, it's very nice very slow but it looks good right nice bridge here with water running underneath a butterfly or a moth or something this area looks nice lots of trees, water very nice don't ask me how I did it but I've just managed to put all the coins on the minimap I'm guessing there is a key which you have to press to do that anyway here is another selling point so there is no shortage of any selling points on this map that is one thing I've noticed on a few maps which I've played on before not necessarily any I've actually done a video of um, but there has been a lack of selling points I've noticed like you can have one massive map and then only one place to sell so I think four or five in a small map like this is more than enough so that's really good um, up there I I'm guessing it's just below the trees so we probably don't have to bother I think it just will go back to where we were before um, so yes on the right we should have two fields number eight and nine two fairly small square fields I'd quite like to start off with a fairly small field I mean they're all pretty small but when you've got small equipment um, even like field number two can be pretty big
So here is our tipping point for grass. That's just here. Uh, quite discreet. Quite hard to tell if you're not looking at the map. But it is the green icon on the minimap. Um, so we'll continue again. Bring up the map. And I'm going to turn right out of here. Not being up here too much yet. And just approaching now is the spinnery, which is of course where you take your wool pallets to. That is that building just there. You must be able to turn in here somewhere. Yep. So yeah, there is the selling trigger for it. Just put them in this box and they should sell. Selling point for wool. If you want to sell wool to the spinnery, you can transport the pallets from the sheep pasture to this spot and place them inside this marker. So that is where you do that. It's got a few smash windows. Hmm. Right, well, we'll move on once again. I think we're virtually done. Just up here, we've got the windmill, which is another selling place. I think that must be the fifth one. And that must be in here. Yep, there you go, just in there. So that'll be, no doubt, wheat. Among other things. And then just out of here, and then turn left, we've got, obviously, our diesel filling point. And it looks to be where our cows are going to be. Not being up here yet. So we'll just make our way up here. This tractor is fairly slow. Uh, that is, of course one thing about getting an old tractor uh, so that looks to be in a way a silage clamp I'm guessing that you can put it there not sure I have to try that out but it does look like it um, round here we've got our cows so just round here obviously more sheds there for parking machines in so just over there we've got our slurry pumping area where you can fill up your slurry tanker this is of course our cow shed just in there which will need some straw in. Um, possibly more areas for cows, if not it's a parking place for tractors. So it's all kitted out with the appropriate uh, sheds. Just around here, just over shot there, is our diesel filling tank. Near the pond. Ah yes, and that is where you fill up your trough for your animals diesel filling tank there yeah that must be a silage clamp I would imagine right so one more place I'm just going to head to the bottom right hand corner of the map and then we'll begin doing a little bit of harvest like I usually do uh, just to get things started and of course we will have to also sell what we've got in storage here are some trees likely you can cut these down I don't have a chainsaw, this is obviously old times this map, um, so I would doubt that it would be present day, so whether, it, whether or not you should have a chainsaw I don't know, uh, I guess you could, um, just for the sake of cutting the trees down in this map. And finally we're just heading down here, bit of a jetty down there. It looks pretty nice actually down there, I'd like to go there, uh, and round here looks to be another yard now admittedly I don't know what that says I could use translate um, one second now I feel stupid I've just looked and there are milk churns here and that looks like milk it is milk this is our milk place with a few more storage areas by the look of things so yes, that is it. That is the entire map, I think, explored. Um, we will now begin. We'll get our little combine out. It should be around somewhere. And we'll get the, the Deutz Fars, get a trailer on them. I like the way they're already muddy. You start off with muddy tractors, as if they've been used already. So you're just joining the farm, you're not starting from the beginning. Right. We'll get into this then. Choose a a relatively small field to start off with. Uh, let's go for, where are we in the yard? Um, number eight looks pretty good. I don't want to start off with anything too big, it'll take too long. Uh, so that should be a 
fairly good option, I think. We'll head over there now. Yeah, this combine is obviously new. So, yeah, we could definitely get away with using a chainsaw if we're using this machinery. I think the way I'm going to look at it is not an old map where you only use old machinery. It's just going to be new, but on the small side of machines. That's probably the best way of doing it. Otherwise, it wouldn't really work. So, it's an oilseed rape field, or canola. Uh, that's the one we're going to begin with. Very small, so it shouldn't take too long at all. I reckon that's a ditch just in there. Don't want to go in there. Right, so. Um, I mean, we could... I think I will actually have to put this on a worker to begin with. Now, that tree is going to have a collision. So, I'm going to have to actually um, go around the headland first. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can put it on a worker. It's going to hit the trees when it turns around. So yeah, we'll do this. We probably won't even need a trailer actually, because it is canola and it's going to take a long time to fill up the grain tank. And I'll try and keep it in cab view. Keep it a bit more realistic. Anyway, like I was saying before, hopefully this is going to be a really fun map to play on. So far I'm very impressed, very highly detailed and very nice to look at so far. Uh, I like the small fields as well, that's nice. Uh, if you're going to have massive open fields you'd have to have big equipment, but it is nice to go back to some really small stuff to start off with. But yeah, it's going to be a 5, maybe 10 part like I say series, not too big, just like a mini series. And then we will be returning to our English map, Coldborough Farm, to finish off there. This is just to sort of to break things up and to look at a different map, just so it doesn't get too repetitive. So once I've harvested this bit here, I'm going to put it on a worker. I should have done enough headland now for it not to hit the tree, hopefully. So I'll just reverse it back and send it off up there on its own. should be fine. Good, right, we will jump into our little tractor here, get a trailer for it. Now if I remember rightly, the trailer is in the shed just back here. Yep, it's one of these small ones. But that's all we need really. Small tractor, small trailer. Okay, we'll head over to that field now. Hopefully it's still going. Yep, still moving. Good. I mean, it won't even need this trailer until the end. But it's not far off now. It's a really small field for really small equipment. That one's the same, number 9. So yeah, I like it. Really nice. Hopefully you like it too. So I will put the link in the description below. But the link can break at times and weird things can happen. So if it does I will be removing the link and if you're watching it now uh, obviously not on the release date of this video and there's no link there that is the reason why uh, so apologies if it's gone so it's virtually done I mean it's missing a few bits hopefully it'll turn around and come back and finish it but that is our little field done just a little taster really of our farm yeah it's fine We'll just get this thing unloaded and then we'll go and tip it in the yard. Surprised it noticed that bit was missed. It carried on. That's really good. I think that's it. Right. Not too much, obviously. So we'll go and take this to the yard, go and tip it, and then when we've got a fuller trailer, I think we'll go and sell it all. We are going to need some money to buy cows and things, um, but we should have some in storage anyway, so that should be fine. 
So we'll just put it in here. A marker I haven't looked at yet. Ah, welcome. <laughs> Probably should have looked at that one first. Right, it's just here. We'll just tip it in there. For the time being. Okay everyone, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the map so far. We will be continuing with this uh, for a few more videos yet. So yeah, please let me know and I'll see you in the next video.